Hello, welcome to another video for Stan with Deets Surface Detailing. I like to use my hands, maybe I shouldn't, I don't know. But anyway, on the last video, I left you with a bonus feature. What is it? It is actually a pedestal or base to a barber's chair. And first thing we're going to have to do is clean it up. And we're going to be using LA Total Awesome Zep Heavy Duty Citrus Cleaner. I have a bucket of water. I have a green scouring pad, Scotch Bright, soft bristle brush, and gloves. I've already pre soaked this for about 20 minutes in the LA Total Awesome. And we're going to get ready to start cleaning it. But before we do, I want to point out some things on the base so you can actually see what I'm going to have to be facing to restore this to almost new light conditions. As you can see, around the base. I don't know if you can see this discoloration right here. But that is actually a weld joint. It's going all the way down. I think that one's a little bit better. And it feels like they've already feathered it back pretty good. There's a little indention. So we gotta, after we clean it, we gotta body feel all this. I don't know if you can tell how wrinkly it is. So hopefully we can blend that and then we got to match the color. So basically we're going to mix it again really good. Get it good and saturated with the LA Total Awesome. Put your gloves on. With your scouring pad, start scrubbing. Basically, we want to kind of just spread that all over the place. Get her good and clean all over. Look for those black marks. These black marks down here. I don't know if you can see those or not. Most of this stuff's coming right off, nice and easy. see marks like this up there if you watch and it's coming off <clears throat> quite nicely and I don't know if you can see that mark right there those are some some, some rust marks and I also want to show you these black marks here and just go over everything extremely well and most of this stuff will come out I'm going to move these down below to get them out of my way along with the bucket. I'll be right back. But sometimes on jobs, you just got to get the power tool out.
All right, we got in some, basically some holes where nuts and bolts hold this to the floor. With that, cleared off a lot of the bad areas. And of course, you're still gonna to have to use the Skyrim pad. We got scratches and all types of blemishes on this thing. Okay, then rinse it off. You also need some type of water source. shower on my water hose here and just rinse off all the crud rinse it off your table give it a good thorough rinsing all right now we're gonna come back with the degreaser this stuff's amazing and of course we'll have to sand after this to get rid of stuff this stuff doesn't get rid of okay and just repeat take your scouring pad and just go over everything Black marks are coming out quite nice. Anyway, the uh, citrus cleaner will remove rust and a lot of stuff, paint, drip ends. Um, you name it, it's just about cleaning it up pretty good. Uh, the LA Total Awesome, be careful with it on the larger jobs. It is kind of got a high ammonia smell. So, you you know, you want to use good ventilation in, it, in, in that situation. bit closer so you can see there's a little bit of rust in this area I don't know if you'll get to see all that disappear I'll basically score some on your rag Now one thing I like to do is run water 
take the same scouring pad and just kind of go over everything really good repeat all the way around this helps anything that might have been on there all right rinse it down thoroughly Clean out your bucket, which is a must. Clean your scotch bright rag off. Usually I'm in a tub doing this, so. Rinse your bucket out. Then, I like to use a chamois to dry it up. We don't want no standing water whatsoever. All right, that's the first step on getting this thing cleaned and ready for the prep. Now we'll let it dry for about 10 minutes. Why I do that, I'll get the water up off my table. Then you wanna rinse this out after you get through and put it back in this container so it doesn't dry out on you. And like I said, I like to rinse my stuff out after work. Soak it down real good. Bring that sucker out. Tighten it up real tight and throw it back down in this container. Pick this up at Walmart, 12 bucks. All right guys, for the next step, you'll need some sandpaper. I'm gonna use 80 grit. You'll need some acetone to clean up with. Some paper towels. Some body filler. Some body filler hardener. Some quick glaze for any fine defects. About four three ounce mouth wash cups. Stir stick. three size spreaders, a Dremel tool, and a sander. So, so what you want to do first is Dremel out any of these imperfections in the porcelain because you're going to have to fill that with body filler and something's got to hold to it. It's very tricky. Now I won't be able to get all of them out but we'll see what we can. We got them all over the place. Then we're going to pretty much fill this whole section right here with body filler. First thing first, let's get to Dremeling.
when you're putting your sandpaper on make sure the holes are lined up with the holes on the sandpaper next I like to sand everything Now I like to wipe everything down with some acetone. Take you a three ounce cup. Squirt you some body filler in there. That's a little bit more than I like to have, but we got a lot to cover here. Uh, you want to mix this before you squirt it, or else you get those um, the liquid part of it separates. So you want to mix that beforehand and that's probably too much but it'll be all right mix that thoroughly now some people will like to mix this on a flat surface it helps get out the air bubbles and everything but when you go into people's homes you don't have that privilege you just don't have that much space to carry everything. Wipe that, empty that completely container completely out. Go ahead and clean your your tool up. Wipe up the excess off of it. Then start taking your spreader. Start working it in. We got a bad dimple right there. I don't know how we're gonna fix that. And you might have to mix up it a couple times. Because you want small amounts to go on there at one time. And she's already hardening up. So. All right, we're going to start sanding on this. She's drying out. It's been actually 30 minutes. We're going to start working it, shaping it. We had a, a couple of deep spots on both sides where he grinded it down pretty deep. <clears throat> and I know some of you body guys out there, we are going to say, good gracious, you just glob that stuff on there. Well, sometimes you have to to get the job done quicker. It all work out once everything gets to sanding.
well that's that it's all sanded all the body works done next things put the uh, uh, the wipe on uh, primer that I have all right guys getting ready to spray this thing first we're gonna put my special bonding agent which is a primer it's rub it's rub wiped on then we're gonna put four three four or five coats of poly on there with my cap spray sprayer we'll go from there it's fixing to get loud in here I will adjust the sound as needed um, I'm also running low on battery life so hopefully you'll get to see me doing some spraying then I'll follow up with a close-up of the after product It's pretty loud in here with the turbine and the air hose going. Here's my system. The reason I got paper and tape around here is this cup's done warped up and it wants to leak and I haven't replaced it yet, but it's like $200. And I bought this system two years ago, February the 27th, 2018. Like I said, I hope I have enough time left on the battery to show you what I'm doing. Put my shoes on. There's today's project or video for the day. <clears throat> it is a barber's chair pedestal or base. <clears throat> anyway, I greatly appreciate you watching. Please tune in. There's more videos coming. I really hope you'll like my channel. If you do, please hit the like button down here. Leave me some comments. Uh, <clears throat> Until next time.